So we're gonna get started. This is for our pineapple candle, and this is gonna be so fun. I really enjoyed doing the last candle craft with you. So I have my, it's called a melting pot. It's for melting wax for crafting. You can also do this in the microwave on short 30 second bursts and, and stop and stir. Use a microwave safe container like glass. Or you can use um, a double boiler. And if you don't have a double boiler that's easy enough to make, you just get a deep, a deep pot, put, a, put some water in the bottom, put a smaller pot inside of it. And then you'll wanna put the wax in the smaller pot, not directly in the water that's boiling. So that's easy enough. If you've never done that, you can Google that. Um, in the past, when I used to do a lot of crafting, I actually just bought like a tiny little pot from um, Goodwill that was really cheap that I knew I would just use for crafting and it was okay that I got yucky. So I have my all my materials. I'm going to take my hot glue gun. I have my wick. I have my cute little candle, um, the wax in my little candle container. So I'm going to pour all this wax into here. I'm gonna turn it up to about 200. So while this is in here, we are going to secure our wick. I'm going to pour this in. And it's kind of a lot. Um, so when you're doing this at home, if you're doing this in the microwave or whatever, you want to heat up all the wax in once in a, in a large enough container. Um, and then just take your time getting it ready. You don't want to do it in batches because then you're not going to be able to get the scent and the color right. I feel like it's better just to do it all together. Just do it slowly. So now that I have everything in here, I'm going to get my hot glue gun, which is heated. I'm going to put a little dab of hot glue right here. And I'm going to center it in my jar. Actually, the really great thing about this jar is that it has a little circle right in the center anyway. I'm not sure what it is for, if it's just their, their brand or whatever. Um, I have this little, I don't know what you call it, that helps you center the wax. I'm also gonna include some little dowels. So what you can do is you can I'm gonna trim this. But you could wrap this, wind it around the dowel, and then have the dowel rest here, and that will help your wick stay centered. Actually, my wick already looks a little uncentered, so I'm just going to adjust it. The bottom looks good, the top just looked a little wavy. So this is helpful. So I'm just gonna leave this for now. I'm gonna work on stirring my wax. So I'm just gonna work on stirring this. And it's funny to me, um, the coloring and the fragrance. I'm used to cooking, um, and when you, know, you, you cook certain things, you wanna add like your vanilla extract like at the end so that it doesn't all burn off. So to me, <laughs> it's like the opposite of that. You want to add your color um, and your fragrance while it's still hot and and blending. Otherwise, um, it needs the heat to incorporate. So I'm gonna include the right amount for you. Little, this goes a long way. The last time I made, I did candles, I added this too late at the end. You definitely wanna add it while it's heating. So that's the good thing about trying a craft and doing it the second time, you've learned a lot of errors. But look at how just that tiny little bit of powder is gonna add such a vibrant color. And if you remember, if you did our, our candle craft last time, the, um, the color will, will mellow when it dries. So it looks much bolder when it's, when it's melted than when it's set. When it's set, it will be a lot milder. I included the instructions for you in case you wanna do that. These um, soy flakes, um, soy wax flakes I got in bulk. They're very reasonably priced. You could get jars, mason jars, or, or um, 
tempered right so that they you can burn a candle in them. Um, they're, they're made for canning so they're able to withstand that heat. These are not mason jars, but I'm just saying if you bought mason jars, you could, and wax uh, wicks are also easy. So if you wanted to, you know, redo this at home, you definitely could. It's not that hard to get ingredients now with everything online and Amazon carrying everything. And um, it's pretty affordable. That's why I included this um, instruction sheet. It asks for 20 to 30 drops of fragrance oil. Now, this is for, um, if you look at the notes, they give you a batch that makes enough for three candles. So um, if it's 20 to 30 drops for three candles, I'm gonna use about 10, 10 drops for my one candle. And that smells really nice. I'm just going to slowly stir this. And I've noticed that when I made the candles, <clears throat> I do it in this room and the smell of it while it's heating is very strong. It smells very nice, you don't notice it at first, but if you come back, it's very strong. And then as it's cooling, you st it's still very strong. So, you know, just keep that in mind. Maybe, maybe you don't want it in your kitchen because that might be too strong when you're eating or something. It's all up to you. I just see little bits of my colorant that I'm just trying to make sure that I'm incorporating as much as I can. And now it's time to pour. So I'm gonna turn this off and I'm going to pour. Oh, this is in here. Let's see. This side is a little better. It's okay to get a little wax on this. And it's definitely okay to get a little wax on your dowel. Because that's just gonna get thrown away. Oh my gosh, that is just perfect. So I'll be sure to add a little bit more wax for you guys. Definitely have enough wax to do that. Okay, so I finished this. I'm just making sure that this is a little more centered. And then I'm gonna leave it here to cool. Actually, I'm gonna put it over here to cool and set. I'm gonna have to test you on my phone. And I'm gonna turn this off. I'm just gonna let it set. And now I'm going to take going to be for your topper. So I will have already done this for you. This is going to make like the little pineapple crown. sense it's a nice summer decoration if you didn't even want to light it but you just wanted to have it out somewhere it looks really cute also um, it would be a great gift it would be a great gift for all the barbecue parties and everything that people are having this summer so I'm just gonna cut this in half because I only need a little um, so yeah that'd be a great hostess gift for a party or for yourself, something really fun for yourself so I'm gonna do it over here because I'm kind of out of space so I'm going to just tag a little here Ouch, I always burn myself on this, I never burn. 
and we're just gonna roll. I'm gonna every now and then tap, put a little drop of glue as I'm going. And just keep rolling it loosely. And actually, I'm going to attach this to here. Rolling loosely, you don't have to be too tight, it's just nice. Okay, and that's your little pineapple crown. And you can open it up a little if you want. And I'm just gonna let that set, not let the hot glue gun set. I'm gonna clean up my workspace and then I'm gonna come back once my candle has set. Okay, so now the last step is to make it look like the photo. We're gonna draw on here. I'm gonna take this off. It smells so good. I'm going to trim this wick. And the color, I mean, it was almost orange and now it's like perfect. So now I am going to draw the little, the little V's or arrows Just kind of going over it. Sometimes it's a little streaky. Okay, and I'm just going to let this set. This is a permanent marker, so I'm just going to let it set for a minute so it doesn't smudge. It comes with a little cap. I am going to take the cap and I am going to spray paint it for everybody. I'm going to spray paint it green, and once my cap is dry, I will come back and I will attach the little pineapple crown. So here we go. I spray painted these lids green for everyone so it would kind of match. I, uh, we made our little crown and then I hot glued the bottom and I just glued it right on top here. And then there you go. And I kind of, um, I kind of cut down even deeper a little so we could open it up a little. I really like this. I think this came out so cute. It'd be such a cute decoration and a really nice decorative gift and it smells really great. So keep it for yourself if you want to do that. So I hope you enjoyed this program and I hope you sign up for the next maker program and we get to do more fun things together. Have a great day.